I have a dream. It's as beautiful as it is extreme. We, of course, are talking about Rocco from Croatia. Is this a beautiful dream or a sweet nightmare? Wait, that's not right. Is this a sweet dream or a beautiful <laughs> nightmare? Are you ready? Let's do this! Oh, are you dreaming about your family's past? Find out more with my heritage. In any case, we are here and we are ready to talk about Croatia. Rocco Blazovic working with the iconic Eurovision veteran Jacques Hu Deck. This song is, I guess you could say, inverted in terms of language. Oftentimes, countries start in their native language and then switch to English. He is starting in English and then switching to Croatian. I really love how they do that. He's playing local but thinking global. Smart man. I dream of love. I think that Rocco has two volume settings, loud and louder, but you need to be louder when you have so much power. There is so much emotional depth here. The dream he speaks of, which he makes clear in his video, is one of peace, health, and safety. He contrasts his vision of a future with what looks to be like footage from wars in the Balkans, from recent traumatic floods in the Balkans, kind of tapping into a regional identity, building bridges with his neighbors, doing that through storytelling and through the song. Gone are the wings from the national final. I thought they gave him height. I thought they took flight. Clearly he disagreed. He's still wearing the all white outfit, purity and angel, angels dream, dreaming of a new reality. Long story short, this packs a musical punch delivered by a master vocalist. I think the video gives me faith they will have some dramatic staging. I must preface, or rather post this, <laughs> this comment by saying I don't think this is everyone's cup of tea, as we will soon see. Tap in. <laughs> <laughs> And Jesus loves you. You know, when you dress a teenager in white, you know, the symbol of purity set against, you know, regional conflict as the backdrop, you know, to me it feels exploitative. Um, and it lacks focus. You know, one minute it's the... Um, smoke billowing in the sky from some sort of atomic missile the next minute. It's homeless people wandering through. <laughs> then, then there's floods, which look like the poisoned Danube in Hungary. You know, he wasn't even around for much of these events, so it kind of also lacks authenticity. I respect those who are behind this. Charlie Mason. Love him. Adore him. He's written a song for us, by the way. And <laughs> I absolutely am in love with Jacques Hudeck. And, I love him. you know, I took a massive back, well, we took a massive backlash when we did that video saying how much we loved him and the song and everything. And you know what? A part of me wants to replicate that for Rocco Blazovic. But Ernst and Young, they're in the way. My scores were locked on April the 1st. Let's save it for the end of the video. Okay. We're saving it. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're saving it. We're saving this. Chris. Oh, uh, I think the problem, like, if you look at the national final performance, and that generally has been the standard that we've uh, been looking at, it was so overdone. It was so overwrought. It was cheesy to the point where it was tasteless. Um, I think that when Jacques did My Friend at Eurovision, there was kind of a bit of a knowing wink to it all. Like, it was over the top, but at least it played into it. And, and you kind of felt like everybody was in on the joke of it. This feels more like Alexi of last year, where it was so cheesy and, like, it was just overdone. And look what happened. Um... Rocco is a good singer, certainly. You know, it, does he have the tendency to go a bit too loud rather than... You, I, I feel like he could rein it back a bit at times. I think that his 
natural position, at least in Dora, was to just shout it. I think that he will work on that. And obviously he's had time. I think in Tel Aviv it will be a lot stronger. We know that he's now got dancers who are going to be part of it. So they're clearly working on this. And I think that implies that they maybe weren't happy with the response to the Dora performance. You know, generally speaking, it has been quite negative online. Um, so I don't think that my score will be any surprise either in terms of the general uh, reception it's had. But I think that there is potential for this to be really good. Would I have preferred it entirely in Croatian? Yes, definitely. I think that the English lyrics are so uh, d painful, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not my cup of tea as it is. I hope that it does better. Uh, when we get to Tel Aviv, and I have faith that, you know, we've seen it before, Croatia do get staging pretty good sometimes. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, Franca was kind of left by herself. Find your lighthouse. But, uh, well, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> the, I, the My Friend staging was good for what it was, let's put it that way. Angus. <laughs> I mean, you see cheesy, I see a delicious baked camembert, I just want to dunk some rustic Mediterranean bread in. Mm. Um, you know, I will say the English lyrics are perhaps not the best. Have we probably heard these lyrics before at Eurovision? Yes, we have. Have we probably seen a male performer that's young in white singing a ballad before? Probably yes, we have. However, the Croatian elements in the song take me to another planet. And on that, I really agree with you. I think with this entirely in Croatian, we'd be having an entirely different conversation about the song. Um, yeah, I will say the Dora performance, you know, there were different levels. Again, I don't actually have the problem with Louder Louder. It's a ballad, so I don't really want you to be kind of half-hearted about it. Either go for it or go home. And he goes for it, so more power to him on that score. Um, I mean, staging will be interesting. I must admit, male backing dancers was not what I visualized. I actually was probably the only person that liked the angel wings. I was quite oh inspired my God, by be that. Oh the devil and an angel. Oh my god, I bet it's going to be a devil and an angel. Why do you say that? I just have this feeling like we're going to have angel wings somehow, but it won't be on Rocco. I bet it will be like ah, Moya yeah. 3 done differently. Oh, I like this. <laughs> angels from Azerbaijan, angels from Croatia. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, final point. I mean, you know, lightning strikes on the seal around me. I think they have the elements to do something good here. I just wish the whole song would go into Croatian. From the music video, it seems perhaps that won't happen. I think the music video is an unfair thing to judge it on because I doubt that will be what they'll put on the screens when we get to Tel Aviv. Um, final point, yeah. Were this entirely in Croatian, it would be getting an entirely better score from me. I have a dream as beautiful as it is extreme. I actually really like the lyrics. I think it's hard to make things rhyme while also carrying meaning, and he's managed to do that. I think that this angel could take flight in Tel Aviv. I think vocally you have to respect him. I think every year there's one or two songs that qualify and everyone's like WTF just happened. And I think in this semifinal, if it happens, it will be Croatia. I don't think this is a clear qualifier by any means. There's a lot of dislike for it, but I think it is the one among the disliked songs that is most likely to qualify, if that makes sense. We're going to have to watch this space. So what, the, the disliked songs were like a handful of four? Listen. <laughs> Who could make the final is my oh, point. Oh, yes. And, could and make the final in ninth or tenth position. Oh, life-changing. <laughs> the reality is when you have a song with... That melodic structure, and I do like it. You know, la 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 la. la. Then you, those lyrics do not go because it is just so cheesy, and it's cheesy to the point where it's drawing me to slumber. This, I'm sorry. Let's go around and give our scores out of ten, along with a prediction of whether this will make the final. Starting with my angel Devin. Oh baby, it's a three point five, and that was really generous. Actually, the bulk of that comes from knowing who the heavyweights are behind this. So you know, this was essentially me throwing points to Jacques Hudek and to Charlie Mason. You know what they've come up with. Oh my god, at that national final, that shouty performance in Dora, are you kidding me? My scores were locked on April the 1st, that's well before this music video came out, but no, no, it's a 3.5. Would your score have gone up based on the music video? It's a 3.5, let's move on. <laughs> that's a no. All right, my score is a 6.5. I've said what I have to say. I think it's very shouty. However, live, that can be impressive if he nails it. I think staging, again, 
will make or break this because it's not an obvious qualifier at all, but with magical, crazy, wackadoodle, memorable staging, it could squeak through. Sure. I mean, for me, it's a 4.5, I have to say. However, were this entirely in Croatian, we would probably be looking more like a 6.5. I just do find the English lakes a bit difficult to cope with. However, the cheesiness is not an issue for me. And staging-wise, I actually think, not wackadoodle, but if you put some classy staging around this with the lyrics in Croatian, this could go through that semi-final easy. I'm also giving it a 4.5. Um, I think that they've missed the mark with the Dora performance. I think they missed the mark with the music video. So let's hope that third time's a charm and they get it right in Tel Aviv because I think that as it stands, this isn't qualifying. Um, and it will take a lot for it to qualify because I think there's a lot of songs already ahead of it. Um, I'd be surprised if a lot of Western-leaning juries would vote for this just because of how poor the English section is of the song, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think, it's a, I think it's a real uphill battle for this. But Rocco seems nice. Um, you know, I, 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 wish the best for, I wish the best for Rocco and for Jacques and for Charlie and anybody else involved <laughs> with the song. Well, now that they have clipped his wings, <laughs> it is time to go around the world and see what the other wee bloggers in more than 50 countries all over the world have to say. The overall global average is... Okay, it's not good. No. It's not a good score. <laughs> Listen. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like... You know, the thing, you know, Rocco can sing nice, yes. you know, but the reality is nobody's singing badly. I mean, nobody's singing badly this year. There, there, there's actually <laughs> no bad vocal. Uh, and Beg to differ. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no bad vocal. Maybe Germany at a push. But oh. you know what? When you wow. then go, Rocco can sing nicely, but with a massive caveat of loud and louder and shouty, you know, I'm not even so sure we've judged that. Okay, listen. In the fairest term. That is what we think. <laughs> what do you think? Is Rocco an angel taking flight or is he crashing down? Let us know here on Wubi Blogs along with your score out of 10. Yes, multiple <laughs> social media platforms. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. Come for us. Um, visit weeweeblogs.com for all the latest news and attitude and articles, reviews and polls. And make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below, everything else in the description bar. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye!